Okay, we've got one take to get this right. Jerry has to leave in a few minutes. And... Action. Ah, oh, there's a hand in the shot. Okay, so in your situation, it might not be a hand that's throwing fake blood, but this is how you can remove little things that just appear and disappear in your shot that you really don't want to be there. And we're gonna use Blender to do it. So in the movie clip editor, I'm going to switch to the masking tab here where I'm gonna create a new mask by holding control and dragging. Once I finish creating a mask that's roughly the shape of the hand, I hit Alt-C to close the loop. Then I'm gonna hit A to make sure everything is selected and then Alt-S to add in some feathering. Uh, not sure why Blender 3.2 looks like this. But in Blender 3.1, I'm going to go into the video sequence editor and pick a frame that is right before the hand appears. If you hit F12, then we can go Shift, Alt, and S to save out that frame as clean plate. Then, back on the timeline, let's go Shift A and add in that image that we just saved out. And we're going to kind of use this like a patch to patch over the part of the video footage that we don't want. So let's place the image right over the part where the hand comes in for a few frames here. And now with our image strip selected, I'm going to go over into the modifier tab in the side panel here. And I'm going to add in a mask modifier. Make sure we set that to our mask. And now you can really see what we're starting to do here. On the frame where the hand is most obviously in frame, I'm going to hover over the opacity value and hit I to make sure our image is fully visible and then we can go to the frames before and after to decrease the opacity and put in keyframes once again just to make sure our patch is fading in and out nicely and I've just pulled up the timeline so I can see a little bit more precisely where the keyframes are going and so I can adjust them a little bit better but hey now the hand is gone cool now looking at the before and after, you can tell it's not perfect, but we really don't need it to be perfect. We just need the distracting hand to not be there. And I'd say it worked pretty well. Well, at least we still got one ace up our hole. You know what? VFX. In the mental, something I've been finding super useful lately are these smoke elements that are seamless and looping, and you can get them for free. There's a link in the description. But yeah, that's been the tutorial. I hope you have an excellent day, and cheers!